Yo, what's good guys? Today's video, Blackwing Pendulums. I showed you guys on my community page on YouTube. I got a six card hand loop, Blackwing Pendulums. I posted the calm already for you guys. Go check it out if you haven't already. Every single turn, six card hand loop. When you go second, you simply OTK them. You sign into the mirror mirror package, obliterate them, and literally watch your opponent squirm and cry. And I personally gain great, great happiness in eating my opponent's tears while watching them cry. And it's what you do playing this deck. Why? Because your opponent can't play. Your opponent can't play. You simply Omega and Trish them, and you gumball them for four. And, and on a Buguska. That's, you literally can't do anything to that. Drink them, my bad, drink them. <laughs> Drink them, my bad. Simple. Yeah, both. Because we're the pen god, baby. We do what we want. So we get rid of six cards. Ending on a board of Trish, Topo Logic, and Baguska. Good luck, have fun. And a lot of the times you can also end on a Fog Blade, but it depends on the hand. I did a show, one random hand for you guys in my other video where it just ended on Topo Logic. I just want to do the video quick and Rusty and some other stuff, but. Typically, if you use Electrum to pop the Rusty at, at Corner Special Corno, then you keep the Trish instead. There's another monster. Summon out the uh, Rusty again with Fog Blade uh, that's in your graveyard. So you'll typically end up on a board of something like this. Uh, sometimes with Baguska, sometimes with Fog Blade. But you always have one extra interruption on top. And I absolutely love Baguska because no, they have no cards in their hand. Like, literally, their grave bags are going to do nothing when they come out on the field with Baguska. Like, literally, and you just, whenever you're ready to OTK, you just attack. And all your stuff are links that are on field anyways. Like, not Trish, but these two. So you just keep attacking and, like, you just win. And then when you're ready to, like, uh, do more, you just do more. It's absolutely insane. But they can't do anything. It's a complete auto win. I'm working right now on a build to make a, to a six card negate. And I can do Dweller as well. We did Joe's because he's guarding the gate plus Dweller. They can just change the quick effects. But again, the most decks don't want, won't be able to do anything. Anyways, that's the, video, that's the whole point of the video. Uh, we're not going to showcase you guys the actual deck profile. So go check it out if you haven't already. This is a deck profile. Make sure to subscribe also, guys. Uh, more amazing content coming soon. Check out Game Nation. And if you haven't already, I have a budget pension on list that I put up on my channel. Uh, super budget, under $100 after tax and after shipping. My sponsor blesses is amazing price for my friends. A special price discount code. Just message me on Facebook if you guys are interested. Let's get right into the video. So three Cloak, three Zephyros. These are the uh, black wings you play. Uh, you, I know Zephyros only once per duel, but the whole point of the deck is you you draw one of these six and you summon sort the other. If you don't draw one of these six, it's the most normal way to do the combo. There's also another easy way to do it. You just you set uh, you send uh, perform pull out as like Phoenix with Electrum to the extra deck. You send this to the extra deck, and then you pen summon it out, and you make Beatrice and Enlightenment Paladin. Uh, add Soul Charge to your hand by Beatrice signing it and Enlightenment Paladin adding it. So then make some then make a Aster Invoker with those two and Enlightenment Paladin. Make summon Sorceress. Summon Sorceress targeting the card you send with Electrum to bring up the uh, cloak. And cloak uh, it, because it's a uh, token effect is not a hard once per turn. You can bring out the token three. You bring out the token three times in one turn, getting rid of six cards from your opponent. The only part that is hard once one per turn is the special summon effect from the grave, but it doesn't matter because it's gonna hit the field by summon sork, and uh, so you're gonna get one token from that. You're gonna soul charge it once. You're gonna get a token from that, and you're gonna bring out itself by its own effect, bring out three tokens in total, plus it being on the field three times. So you have a two or three times. Plus is a black wing synchro card that says if this card is uh. Synchro summon using a if this card is synchro summoned using a black wing monster, it turns into a tuner. So uh, you end up having two level seven tuners, which makes it so easy to trish as well. Because you can end up with two tokens. So it's super important to the combo. It's not uh, it's not possible without the black wing cards. Uh, without the black wing cards, it turns into a five card hand loop, not six. But just making Omega with like harmonizing or whatever. But this just ensures it's even more difficult. Like uh, even that itself is difficult. Without the without the black wing, it's more so like uh, four guard hand loop and like the fog blade and uh baguska type of deck but the uh, black wings really help it a lot and uh the black wings also help uh they don't break they really don't because you want to see one of these six mainly if you see one of these six the combo is so easy if you see if you have to send it with this typically it's a five card hand loop with baguska and fog blade which is still game anyways so if you see one of these is a six card hand loop if you uh don't see any of them you draw normal hand even if you draw brick hand it's a four card hand loop with baguska and fog blade i think baguska is so underrated and next we got the typical engine with the turbo cards. You guys, everyone knows these already. The 12 turbo cards. Uh, I've shown them in my past videos. You need them in every single deck. It's like playing uh, uh, any pendulum deck without these 12. It's like playing not playing Engage in a Sky Striker deck. Uh, we changed the Magician count big time. 
Uh, we played three Oak Dragon. You need way more level sixes in this build because the game plan is you make Electro, uh, you send uh, the Wing Beast if you don't already have one of your uh, Black Wings. You send pen summon two level sixes and you uh, harmonize the Magician, and you make a Lightning Paladin adding Soul Charge. And I'm gonna do a, a FTK video soon as well because the same setup could do FTK. But this is more swagged out. Uh, the other Magician always plays one pit, one Gazer. Uh, we need a high schedule in case we draw uh, pen call, so we get this end harmonizing. And honestly, uh. Uh, the main uh, the cards in the main deck deal with back row so well like pit etc etc that it allows you to free up cards in your extra deck like you don't have to play tornado and like phoenix and stuff like that uh, but in my side deck we do side phoenix I'll show you guys the side deck later as well uh, next we play two jackal two worm one zero uh, even though sixty cards is so tight because there's so many good cards you want to play that we, we don't need a third worm to be honest the pseudo and then the phantom light package uh, one of each because you're gonna end up uh, going through them all in the first turn and if you draw one it doesn't matter to be honest. That is nice if you don't draw, but if you do draw, it doesn't matter. And you, we don't want we want to play as little bit as possible. Uh, the Strudel helps so much. Uh, I, I'm going second, especially. Uh, next, we have Foolish and Triple Shrine. Triple Ravine, Double Terraforming. Nine more Turbo cards. In every 60 card list, you must play it. We side into the Mirror package going second. Because going first, you want to ensure every single hand, even through a hand trap. If they hand trap you, they're, they're not hand trapping the Beatrice or Lemon Paladin. They're hand trapping the Electrum. They don't know what build you're playing. You take builds like these to YCSs or Regionals, because they don't know what build you're playing. If they hand trap your Electrum, uh, they have five cards. That means you can do a one less Trish or one less Omega. It makes it even easier for you to make the full combo. Because all you need to do is just Soul Charge and just come back for four. And then just one Omega, one Trish, the full combo six. And usually Gumball for five and Baguska Fog is all that's needed. A lot of times when they hand trap you, if you open bad, you can only uh, get rid of five cards. Even if you get rid of four cards. If you get rid of four cards, end on a Negate, Baguska, and uh, Fog Blade, you still win. Triple Pen Call, Triple Alliance. Just ensures that you get, uh, uh, you want to get through Harmonizing and Oath. Uh, there's so many small tricks to do it. Uh, one upstart, I know you play Abductor, uh, there's not much, but sometimes I literally send, if I have a lot of spells in hand, I send Abductor uh, before I even activate any of the spells if I could uh, to add it and then activate the spells to get a free add. So you, upstart, I know it's like uh, you play 60 cards. I don't care if they drop, I get a thousand life points. I really don't care whatsoever. Uh, more so for Abductor. Uh, it helps if you draw it, you almost always send Abductor, get a free spell. Why not? Triple Lord for the same reason. And the whole deck revolves around Soul Charge. I'll show the combo super quick at the very end. If you guys haven't seen it already, now in terms of the main deck, we're going to play in order in terms of how you do the combo. So first is Electrum, obviously. You make Electrum in order to, and you want to pen two sixes and uh, harmonizing. So this is your typical, typically your board uh, with one uh, Blackwing card, doesn't matter which one. And if you don't have a Blackwing, you just send uh, uh, like one of these. So you're going to open, as long as you open one of these seven Blackwing, I consider this a Blackwing card because it's how you get access to the whole Blackwing engine. But uh, Electrum, send this. If you, already, if you open one of these, send something else. Uh, for, so for the sake of put this, so we'll just say put this for the sake of, like, it doesn't matter, put Zephyros. But let's say we drew Zephyros, so just a normal generic combo to do the deck. But you can do it regardless. If you draw the light, if you, if you don't draw one of the Bakken cards, you just go five and then Baguska Fogblade, which is still auto win. And then after this, you uh, uh, send Soul Charge with Beatrice. Showcase the combo while I show the extra deck as well. I'm going to showcase all of it at the same time because extra uh, you have 12 cards of the combo take up the extra deck and you have three cards for utility. And the whole main deck's utility. So utility doesn't matter. A lot of the cards that you go into in this combo help for utility going second as well, which is sick. Uh, so then you add you Beatrice and Soul Charge, Lemon Paladin add Soul Charge. And then with Beatrice and Electro, you go into the next card of the combo, which is also the fourth card, uh, fourth card of the extra deck, which is Alistair Invoker. Then Alistair the Invoker, uh, no effect, you just said it's a dark spellcaster and you can use it because you have different types of attributes. And then with that, you go into Summon Sorcerer, Sorceress, and then Summon Sorceress will bring out the other Blackwing that you didn't draw into. So bring out Steam the Cloak. And at this point, if you had a, uh, if you drew it, if you already, if you set, had to send this, it means you had an extra card now to play with, which means the extra card now to deal with, you don't need to do a, uh, it's easier to go Bakuski as well. And then you just send this, bring out the, bring out this. But for this situation, it just, if you, or if you uh, draw this, you, you bring out Zephyros. And then with these, you go into, uh, the next card of the combo, which only reason I'm showcasing us now is also showcasing the cards you play. So it's this. Uh, it, Assault Blackwing, Rakiri, the Rain Shower. Going second also has an effect to destroy cards your opponent controls. So a lot of these cards have utility going second as well. That's why I like it. It's not like your whole extra deck is just for the combo. It's also the utility going second. Uh, Cloak of Echo Trigger, bringing out, you have a Soul Charge hand and other cards in hand after the Pen Summon, you, right? Uh, bringing out another token. So at that point, you'll go into the next card in the extra deck, which is Omega. Vanishing a card. So so far in the extra deck, we have these. So like the Electrum, the Beatrice, the Lightning Paladin, Alistair Invoker, the Electrum, obviously the Summon Sorceress, the, the Rikiri Assault Blackwing, and the Omega. At this point, you Soul Charge, where you bring out the five cards, 
and it'll essentially uh, you watch the combo, guys, if you have it. But you'll bring out these. Uh, you'll bring out Electrum, uh, Invoker, and any random card doesn't matter. And then after that, you simply with these you go into a seven. Uh, yeah, lots of cards in hand as well. Don't forget that. So these you go into a seven, which is you go into the second copy. Oh, where's the second copy? You go into the second copy of this. So now you play two copies of that. I want to showcase a little more interesting way to showcase the extra deck. Is literally showing the combo for you guys. If you haven't watched the video already, but if you haven't watched the combo tour already, go watch it right now. It's uh, posted a few days ago, I believe. Uh, so now this is a level seven tuner by the effect of uh, this. So also that's how I made Omega. It turns into a tuner if you use a black wing for it. Uh, at this point, because the background is so good, because you use this, uh, this will bring out another token now. That's why it's so good, man. Like it brings out tokens for free. And because it's a level 7 tuner, all we need to do at this point, let me just get out my custom Electrum token. Let's find this token. We're going to be using this a lot now. When we destroy people, let's soon as we find it, where did this token okay, There it is. When we uh, destroy people with Black Wings, discard handles, we're going to be using this token a lot. But uh, we do have Zephyros Engraved now, plus cards in hand. Uh, so we're going to... All we need to do now is bring out one more token. So we're going to activate the effect of Cloak again. Uh, just bring out anything just to put it on the field to get a free once per turn. Uh, uh, summon from the yeah, grave. summon from the grave once per turn. Yeah, that's a, the only part. Don't forget the only part of the once per turn is the summon from the grave. That's the first time we use the summon from the grave part. But the token regeneration is forever, which is stupid because with soul charge, summon start bringing it out and uh, the effect from itself, you're gonna get three tokens from it. So now it doesn't matter what you bring out. I'm gonna showcase you guys a combo later and do it, but it's just the easiest combo where you get I, normally you end up with boost as well. But I'll show you guys. So you just send these. Doesn't matter what you send, to be honest, it'll be almost the same result. You, you go into the next card into the combo, which is the Underclock Taker. Uh, leave you, uh, put it right there. Uh, bring out another token from uh, Steam the Cloak. And then Steam the Cloak, uh, the two tokens from Cloak, and uh, the two tokens from Cloak and the level 7 uh, Blackwing Synchro Tuner uh, will bring a Trish. Bring out the second card in the combo. And I'm sure, that, like, I could have even gone Gumblar and then done this, but, so you Gumblar first, but I'm just doing this super fast for you guys to understand, that, to see, the, actually understand the combo for yourselves. So at this point, they have four cards left. Uh, and now here you go with the, the Meltdown Invoker and Underclock, because they're both dark. You go into, wait, why do we want to Underclock? Like, there's, bro, there's so much stuff you could do here that, like, I'm literally uh, not even showing the full power of it. I just want to showcase you guys how to do the actual combo super quick. So then with this, you have the traps. Typically, you're going to have different cards in your hand as well. Uh, so you banish, uh, you're going to end up with this. You're going to add boots. Uh, you banish cloak. And then you're going to special this. Zephyros, bring another card back to your hand, etc., etc. It's too long of a video already, but you, uh, then you go into Gumblar. And then you get rid of four more cards with multiple cards in hand and a Baguska. So I'll you should watch the video if you haven't already. It's going to end up on a because Zephyros and this will equal the Baguska. And you'll always have cards in hand to get rid of the rest. And typically, if your hand's nice enough, you have a Fog Blade set as well. But oh, it's okay. It's typically, your board's going to look like this. Uh, so this is going to be your board, and then you can say go. And uh, you can literally keep Baguska while Zephyros is underneath it as well. And Zephyros adds back a card, which is amazing because it's more fodder for this, which is why they're all amazing. Uh, again, watch the video if you haven't already. I want to showcase the whole thing. I have to take cards out, cards in hand, etc. And the last two cards you play in the extra deck uh, is Borlord and Boral Sword. You could put Nightmare Phoenix instead of one of these, but against Thunder Dragon, literally Borlord itself is just game. And Boral Sword is so good for OTKs. I don't want to take out any of them. They're so damn good. And I side deck into Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Cerberus, Nightmare Unicorn. Yazi and Link Karibo. And so like and Mir Mir. So like, six cards on the side deck is just that. And then uh, nine hand traps. Like it's absolutely insane. Uh this deck's incredible. I'm playing guys right now. So I hope you guys like it. It's six card hand loop utilizing the effects of of these three black wing cards, which you go through every single turn. You play three of each and then uh Omega Trish Trifula. You feel me? Trifula. We're gonna make it a thing, boys. Trifula, the uh, dragon of the ice barrier. Trifula, the pen god. Trifula, the ice dragon barrier god. Trifula, the pen god, ice barrier. Whatever you guys want to say. But Trifula, the pen god the, from the ice barrier is coming to a theater near, near you guys soon. Six card hand loop every single turn. Hope you guys like this video. Hope you guys like the deck list. Let me know if you guys like it. Don't subscribe if you guys like the video. And let me know if you guys want the budget pension on list. I just have to mess with my sponsor for it. Mess me up Facebook if you guys are interested. See you guys in the next video. I'm out of breath. Peace.